California's water, abundant in nature. But nature doesn't treat all parts of the state equally. The State Water Project brings water to cities and farms where water isn't naturally plentiful. That's why Californians know it's smart to use water wisely. We're making our water count at home and on the job. In the San Joaquin Valley, where traditional flood irrigation has been the rule, growers have found ways to save water. The amount of acreage that Paramount Farming has in micro-irrigation systems amounts to more than 20,000 acres. This particular spot here is of interest because we're doing a comparison between drip emitters versus conversion to, to micro sprinklers. You don't need to spread a lot on the ground. You don't lose very much in evaporation and you can very quickly and effectively get good amounts of subsurface water to these roots. Under a standard furrow irrigation on pistachios in this kind of soil, these trees would be substantially smaller. We've had excellent water savings on this, these particular trees and have had accelerated production. About, oh, say uh, 18 years ago, I was introduced to drip irrigation. Like everybody else, I was skeptical. Uh, but I did see the, well, by working with it, I did see the benefits of drip irrigation. Done properly, it also maximizes yields. To schedule irrigation with precision, Blake uses data from the California Irrigation Management Information System, operated by the Department of Water Resources. I use that information all the time. And because those sim stations have been here for close to 10 years now, I have real-time uh, real background averages with which to plan my irrigation scheduling. We're keeping our eyes open. We want to be ready and have a background of what system is going to provide us the best bang for our buck. The grower that's going to manage to survive in the next century is going to be the one that's getting the most production out of every drop of water. With big investments and a high technology future at stake, California industry is building in water-wise processes. IBM in San Jose has a large disk drive development and manufacturing facility, and we use almost a million and a half gallons of water a day. By the combination of all the things that we've done in manufacturing and reuse of treated groundwater, we were able to supply almost half of our site water needs last year with reclaimed water of some kind. One of the things that we do is to take water from our wastewater treatment plant and reuse that in our site cooling towers to run the air conditioning systems for the plant. We have changed a number of our processes to eliminate chlorofluorocarbons, or CFCs, that are known to damage the Earth's ozone layer. In the process of changing over from CFCs to water cleaning, we still managed to reduce the amount of water we used in that manufacturing process by 30%. And that was because the engineers were able to go in and evaluate the process and find where we were basically wasting water. When this plant was built in the 1950s, the whole Santa Clara Valley was orchards and farmlands. And at the time, IBM made a conscious decision to preserve as much of that orchard as possible, and in fact, even to plant new orchards for landscaping. Today, we have the third largest commercial orchard in Santa Clara County right here on our IBM site. And all of that, those orchards are watered uh, with water that is reclaimed water of some kind. This, this site is a, is a very large site and some of the things we've done we've been able to do because we do have a large groundwater cleanup program but many of the other things that we've done on our manufacturing line have been things that, that any company could do. All across California communities large and small are increasing their water conservation efforts. Tourism and growth depend on it. Uh, Anaheim is a growing community. Uh, Disneyland is putting in a major expansion. Homes are being built in, in Anaheim Hills and East Anaheim. We see the only way of meeting those growth needs is to, be, to have a, a much higher focus on water conservation. Well, we have several programs going on right now. In the residential area, we have got a kit distribution program where we distribute kits that contain uh, low flow shower heads, leak detection dye tablets. We also have a uh, toilet rebate program for the installation of an ultra-low flush toilet. 
We have a unique situation in Anaheim in that we get about 30 million visitors a year. In the week's time that they stay with us, we don't, really don't have the chance to educate them. At the world-famous Disneyland Hotel, a demonstration of the latest ultra-low flush toilets is underway. We've installed over 300 ULF toilets in uh, one of their towers along with the uh, low flow shower heads and we can conserve water without affecting the comfort of the guests that are staying there. The in-school program or our waterworks program uh, consists of educating sixth graders about the need for water conservation. We also hand out the water conservation kits so that they can take those home and have those installed in their own homes and actually participate in practicing conservation. And the people of Anaheim really have responded with a, 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 a sense of purpose and commitment. We, we're really of a mind that the end of the drought does not mean the end of water conservation. We see water conservation and water resource management as an important uh, supply element for our, for our water plan for the future. And as California plans its water future, it depends on the efforts of everyone to make the most of our precious water.